My name is Morgan Musgrave and I will be speaking about the Never Ending Summer Tour. Okay. Think back to your first big concert. You're holding a ticket in your hand as you inch close to the front door. You finally get to your seat and you see the performers' banners hanging on either side of the massive stage, reminding you that you're about to see them live and in person. Being born in 97, I never thought I'd get to say that about my most beloved 90s rock bands. However, the ones I've had the privilege of seeing have been some of the best live vocals and instrumentals I've ever heard. This summer, I'm happy to inform you that 311 and The Offspring will be co-headlining the never-ending summer tour with Gym Class Heroes as a special guest. My two main points of information will include the versatile types of rock these guys play and the tour details. First bit of information I would like to touch on is how special each band's sound is. 311's core five members have been playing together since 1992. Their sound can be described as a blend of rock, post-grunge, reggae, and hip-hop. Their influences include a wide variety of bands from Led Zeppelin to A Tribe Called Quest. Their second, one second their lead singer, Nick Hexum, is singing a rock chorus, and the next their DJ essay is rapping. Consequence of Sound even said that the Beastie Boys' Mike D recently revealed his greatest fear is being compared to 311. All of this being said, if you're a fan of any genre popular in the 1990s, you will enjoy hearing 311 play live. The Offspring recorded their first studio album in 1989. They and other big 90s bands have been credited for bringing punk rock back into the limelight. They're fun to listen to because their lyrical subject matter is vast, and staying true to punk rock form, they draw on different genres and guitar styles. Some of their influences include the Ramones, Bob Dylan, and the Rolling Stones. The Offspring haven't released a record since Days Go By in 2012, but according to Rolling Stone, they're expected to release a new record this year. Maybe they will play some of their new music at the show you see. It's always cool to hear a band play fresh songs that they're still excited about. Lastly, the Gym Class Heroes will prove to have an entertaining sound as well. They have been described as a unique alternative funk rap band. Their many influences range from Hall & Oates to Jimi Hendrix to 311 themselves. It must be fun to go on tour with your role models. The last piece of information I would like to share is the tour details. This tour has been happening for years, but with different bands and a different title. The first couple of times I went to the tour, it was called the Endless Summer Tour. Apparently, the guys at Live Nation wanted to revamp it, but not too much. Live Nation states that the Feel Good Tour of the Summer will kick off July 25th at Shoreline Amphitheater in Mountain View, California, and hit 29 cities across North America before wrapping on September 9th in Wichita, Kansas. The closest tour dates to Topeka include Thursday, August 2nd in Oklahoma City, Saturday, August 4th in Austin, Texas, Monday, September 3rd in St. Louis, and then in Wichita on September 9th. In conclusion, I'd like to reiterate how versatile the music is that these guys will be playing. Anyone who is a fan of any type of rock would enjoy a concert like this with so many different sounds. Even someone who enjoys hip-hop and rap primarily would appreciate seeing these guys play live. Unfortunately, nowadays with technology being the beast that it is, instrumentalists don't have to use much in the way of actual instruments anymore. Vocalists don't have to perform live as well anymore because of auto-tune. Seeing bands like this play live will remind you what real music sounds like and probably be one of the best experiences you have this summer.